this whole area will be covered in white flowers. The season is just getting started on Luc de Couber's farm. Once a banker, he gave it up to devote his time entirely to cranberries. But they're becoming harder and harder to grow. If there's no, not an animal or something, someone that can pollinate them, we will have no fruit. The animal he's talking about? Honeybees. We couldn't live without the bees. We need them, absolutely. About a third of the food that we eat, and the, it's the most nutritious and delicious component of our diet, is pollinated by bees. This region two hours northeast of Montreal is Canada's cranberry capital and the second largest producer of the fruit in the world. The industry brings in millions of dollars and provides thousands of jobs. De Cooper can no longer rely on natural pollination, so he rents bees like many other farmers who need the extra help. This winter, though, Canadian beekeepers have seen hive deaths like never before. It's more difficult to get some hives. Uh, we talking with the beekeepers and they say it, they, a lot of de uh, they have a lot of death uh, during the winter. This year has been pretty devastating. A third generation beekeeper, Sébastien Laberge, lost 70% of his bees over the winter. Half of his business is renting them out for pollination and that's hard to do with such loss. We get calls every day for either blueberry, cranberry. Uh, we just don't have any bees right now. Uh, to contract out. The largest culprit is the Varroa mite, a parasite which feeds on the bees. Climate change and pesticides also play a role. Another issue is monoculture, the cultivation of a single crop. It provides bees with only one nutrient source, weakening their health. If we have no bees, I don't think we're going to be, we're going to survive. A scary thought for de Cooper and farmers across the country. This year, he has been able to get his hands on enough bees to pollinate his crop, but he worries about the years to come. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, St. Louis de Blanford, Quebec.